This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I want to mention something that uh, isn't nearly as fun and feel good. There's a legendary match that happens around this time between Perry Saturn and an enhancement performer named Mike Bell. And it was going to be recorded for Jacked or Metal or one of those syndicated shows. Long story short, Mike Bell may or may not have botched a spot. And Saturn took it personally when he landed maybe a way he shouldn't have. And Saturn just lays into the guy in a major way. I mean, he beats the shit out of him. Do you remember this incident and what the fallout was from it, if there was any at all? Yes, I remember it. it. It was pretty sad. I mean, I'm glad that Perry admitted that he did wrong because what he did was wrong. When you have a less experienced wrestler that's so fired up to wrestle a WWE superstar and he has his only opportunity, he's going to get a little antsy. He's going to get real energetic and, you know, he might end up uh, losing his mind a little bit. And what Perry did uh, after the kid botched the spot is beat the crap out. Yeah. Threw him outside the ring. He landed with his, you know, on his head on the concrete floor. And then uh, Perry jacked him up and ran him in, rammed him into the steps backward where the back of his head hit the steps. He beat the crap out of the guy. What you should do when a guy is, you know, a little antsy and, and you know, not doing what he was told, you need to put him in a rest hold, you know, mm -hmm. choke him out a little bit and say, listen, kid, you're going to, you know, we're going to get through this. You need to stop screwing up, you know, follow me and let's get through this match together. And what Perry did was just beat him up. And uh, it was really sad, but I'm glad that Perry admitted it. Yeah, it comes out that, uh, well, Meltzer would write, in the WWF, something like this isn't considered comedy. Saturn was sent home the next day because of the neck injury, but he had his ass chewed out by management about what he did in the ring and was pretty well told in no uncertain terms that if he did it again, it would be the last time. And to your point, he admitted that what he did was definitely in the wrong. It is interesting to think about this, though, because, you know, a generation before this, beating the shit out of enhancement talent was just, you know, Tuesday. So there have been some positive changes over the years to the wrestling business. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, without a doubt. I was told back then they would beat the crap out of each other. If you stiff the person, you know, you'd beat the hell out of them. So, you know, a, a stiff kick and a stiff punch, it, it's acceptable to this day to stiff them back with a punch or a kick, but not a dangerous move. So if someone stiffs you with a punch or kick, you just give them a receipt to let them know, hey, hey don't do that again. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's what hasn't changed in the business. But as far as a botched spot and beating the crap out of somebody, it has changed dramatically. Let's talk about uh, OVW for a minute here. It makes the Ross report that Eric Angle was on the shelf after a torn tricep in training and a subsequent surgery. We don't really spend a lot of time talking about Eric here on the show. Why don't you think he had a more sustainable run in the WWE? Well, my brother was getting it. He just wasn't getting it as quickly as I did. And I think the company was comparing him to me, mm. but he was getting it. He was, he was learning. He was, Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new contents. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.